Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We just killed Chapter 2's boss, Deceiving Sai. Power, it would seem, is nothing at all. On the Despairing Flame. So, onward. Let's keep going. Lock a few more items. This Oversprung Pocket Watch. Very powerful. Okay. Let's unlock some abilities on the occultist ritualist this is more about cursing huh uh. the true splendor of a world those who live within it very strong cursing abilities i could do a warlock i do like the warlock path A little more light, a little more strength. Aspirin. Mm, I don't think this is the run for Aspirin. Warlock path. Still, I don't like that minus 20% hit points. I'd do something like a Ritualist path. Warlock path, though, the damage is off the charts. All right, Tempest. Poet. Wow. I know my leper is still a wanderer, but tempting. Soloist Jester. I think I'm gonna bring the occultist for sure. Um, leper Jester, the king and the fool. It's too good. And then maybe a highwayman. Morbid joke. Okay, let's do some other. Thought for tools of iron. Such let's get some other stuff. As well. Ah, stake and spuds. This is very nice. Plus thirty percent max hit points. Food item. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Explosives magazine. Chance to produce explosive items before each location. I don't know what's an explosive item. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. I guess this answers my question. A spore grenade. A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. Ellis Whisper. When moving, add one positive token. Gain when moved by ally skill, plus one positive token. Gain when moved by enemy, remove all positive tokens. This is actually super good for a jester. Huh. Temptation. If stain item is equipped, turn star extra action or one damage minus 100% death blow resist. I don't know. This seems pretty strong. Who cares about death blow resist if you have a lot of hit points, right? One extra action is pretty insane. Let's get one more trinket. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. Snap judgment. If stain item is equipped, turns are plus one speed. And it just keeps stacking. Turns are if speed greater or equal to eight, add one positive token. Turns are if speed greater or equal to 12, remove combo. Extra action 10%. If lasting turn order, add one negative token. I mean, this item also seems insanely good. These are actually like really good unforgettable trinkets. All right, one more trinket, one more trinket. So far we have some trinkets we can't even use. Hint of home, oh, this is nice. Gain when hit, heal two. Actually quite solid. All right, let's um. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. Find any advantage. I want to unlock another pet. Company for the long ride ahead. Huh. Gain on killing blow corpse. Heal 30%. Lock crit. It's cute, but it doesn't really seem that good. Let's get the uh, curiosity. 
maybe even refreshment but memory ooh. is the heart that warms the mind let's unlock a let's unlock adjuster customization i forgot to do it last time but uh, let's do it this time soloist minds will carry the day do i actually have to be a soloist use that uh, okay, let's unlock that path. A little more light, a little more strength. I'm gonna unlock and some leopard paths. Splendor of a world. Those who live within it. An occultist. Nah, I'm not gonna use that occultist path. Not yet. Oh. I need to upgrade the Plague Doctor at some point. Huh. Physician seems a little questionable as a path. So much less damage. Oh, right. I was going to bring the um, Highwayman. And two... Do a basic upgrade here. Why not? All right, that's good. Let's let's get going. Once more into the maelstrom, in search of what hope yet remains. The house on the borderlands. Half swallowed by the stain. After three time. The house was scattered with ancient rarities and time-worn artifacts, all bearing that damnable emblem that had come to dominate our thoughts. The crossroads, where lost souls hope to find their way. Okay, no matter what, we're bringing the occultists. Visit the academic study four plus time. I'm not Such confident we're doing that. One must embrace it. Let's try the ritualist. I do like the warlock path. I think it can be very strong. Well, let's let's not decide that yet. Let's check. Ooh, yes, a. Jester, who is a precision striker, is good. A murderous melody lingers long after the final chord has been struck. Wow, bloodthirsty leper. It's real tempting to go the tempest path. This bloodthirsty is actually really bad for tanking. I need you to tank for me. Well, what else we got? Iron Constitution Vesto. I do the chaplain thing again. <laughs> Actually kind of fun. Just clicking through. On guard, man at arms. Uh, I already beat this boss with the man at arms. I want to do it with a different character. Shadowborn Highwayman. Vesto's damage potential is um, not the best. He got a lot of damage. Shadowborn could be decent. But I do also really like Grave Robber. I could try to do something with the stealth. I mean, a turn one pirouette. It's pretty sick.
my only concern is if I'm bringing a bloodthirsty leper, tanking is going to be a huge problem. I could always bring a Hellion. Carcass Hellion for the I mean it's a good tanking path, we know. It's a very good tanking path, in fact. It's going to be good on the final boss, but I mean, I like the Carcass Hellion Bat. I think it's very good. Could do something like this. Bloodlust and fury. Ooh. There is emptiness. Interesting. And this shame. is this is a named group. Devil's Advocate. I only have ways of hitting the back ranks. Um. I'm just thinking like the final boss, right? We would have to put our Hellion in the back and then start shuffling the characters one at a time forward. Carcass Hellion should be able to tank it pretty effectively, the final boss. And then we have Bloodthirsty Leper. I'm real tempted to go Tempest here. I mean the damage output, right? The damage output, I can't not do it. I can't not do it. Then a... Uh, let's not have too, too much low hit points. Virtuoso, Jester. I like the speed, sets up the combo very nicely. Um, and then Ritualist Occultist for a little more healing. Or a warlock for a little more damage. I mean, I should be able to taunt all the time with our Hellion, Arcus Hellion. Kind of want to just delete the back ranks with the Warlock. Our healing is actually decent because um, Leper can heal, uh, Hellion can heal, and I'll do a lot of taunting. Toe to toe, Barbaric Yop, just gonna spam those skills. know how much I even need Iron Swan and even against the final boss we could bleed out to just win have to be a little careful in the final boss like it's the positioning is gonna be a little tricky but I think we could figure it out plus this is a named group right devil's advocate I like that I like that a lot you have to do it right bloodthirsty leper Every chop is just going to delete something on the front line. 100% no fail. That's too good. Especially if I set up the combos for it. Okay. This is too good. Let me do some names. Alright. I've completed my setup. We have Peachal, our Warlock Occultist. Warlock does a lot of extra range damage. Uh, and once we unlock his final story, the Burning Stars is gonna be sick. Then we have a Precision Striker Virtuoso Jester, Dumbo Scrid, who's gonna set up the combos for Thiago Santos, our Tempest Leper with the plus 33% chop damage and Bloodthirsty. So that's plus 60 something percent chop damage. That is insane. And then our Hellion, Fluffball, uh, our Carcass Hellion will just tank everything. In the final boss, uh, all she's gonna do is move up one at a time while the rest of our squad annihilates everything else. All right, seems to be a good, good setup. Let's do it. And this is a named group, Devil's Advocate. How can I not do this, right? Flame. 
sacred and sputtering. The last hope for us all. Yanko Santo still has a shocking amount of hit points. Can't actually use these unforgettable trinkets right now. The point of no return welcomes you with open arms. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Okay, let's fade to black. Oh, right, there's, uh, you have to upgrade it to get the combo token thing. Completely forgot. Um, let's... Go for the kill on this lost soul. That one, because it can do some nasty... Hmm, shuffle, of course. You know, let's withstand. Battle Ballad, get back up. This team is very vulnerable to shuffles. Melody, that's fine. We can get rid of a decent amount of that stress. Nineteen damage. I don't even know what to say to that. Place off. Ooh, I think that can give a disease. Ugh. That's fine. What's we'll solemnity? Get rid of some of this stress. This battle took a long time, which may not be a good sign. We're gonna find out in the next region. Threats await those who dare. Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Yeah, definitely got some uh, shuffle problems, potentially. I could put Thiago Santos in the front. Maybe. The familiar heart okay. tackles inviting thee once again. It's everyone's hero goes. Academic studies. You slice off three times in a single fight. That shouldn't be too difficult. Use medicinal herbs. Land a killing blow on the layer boss in the fetter. That might actually be a problem. Also not feeling super good about fighting the boss in the fetter. It's, it's not impossible. Planning could do and it. mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Alright. What do we got? Crow's Nest, I might buy that just to um, have a better scouting on critical critical things. Gotta have the Inferno Flame. Maybe a natural outlet this time? We do have a Tinkerer's Gear. Only death for those who would seek to stifle us. Fetter is pretty good. I don't know if I fight the boss, though. Although I can, right? If Fluffball immobilizes with toe-to-toe. -to -toe, oh, we can do something against the boss. It's 
not impossible. Big chop or two from Piago Santos. Yeah, Conventional yeah. Fair, but fairly priced. Let's try this unnatural outlet. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. Indeed. Could get a crow's nest. I like that. Not sure any of the other items are real worth it. Two medicinal herbs. Get that hero go progress, but yeah. Anything that lets us travel further is worth the cost. I don't know that I care. If we wanted to fight the boss, what would we have to do? What can be taught? That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Beta Black, very good. Slice off, a good slice off on the right turn and just win us the battle. Tempted to upgrade shop. One big, I mean, I have to, right? This is, we're going all in on the leper. If we're gonna do that, we should upgrade Fade of Black to set up the combos better. Okay. Uh, in terms of other items, a lot of this is very questionable. I don't really need most of it. We might fight the boss, to be honest. And then... Fluffball doesn't actually need to... I want to save the Steak and Spuds, the really good food, for our next region. I don't feel strongly about fighting this boss. It's like, fine. But I don't feel like I have to, you know? If we're going to fight the boss, we need damage. But... I only have, like, a lot of good sources of damage. Blight resist would also help, but... Again, none of this is really sources of blight resist or sources of damage. It's all very questionable, let's be real. Not, I'm not impressed with all this stuff. I think I buy two whiskey flasks. The rigors of the road. Two glimmers to keep the light up a little bit. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. And then save or just save my relics, you know. Oh, right. I gotta buy food. Let's buy the three stale bread. Um, I'm going to use one on um, Peach Hall since your hit points are very low. I go Santo should probably have one. Actually thinking, oh, Dumble Squid's actually okay. But you know what? Let's, let's feed it a fluff ball. We'll save the rest of the food. Um, for more critical turn or critical in. Honestly, I'm not excited about any of this stuff. I'm just going to save my resources. I don't even think I need a glimmers. Let's uh, let's get some of our characters drunk, though. Thinking um, Thiago Santos and Fluffball can drink. Truthing whiskey, truthing wine. Barely a uh, whelp sculpting here. All right. Don't need a move resist. The farms and fields of our kingdom overrun with putrescence and I rot. I don't even feel super strongly about fighting the boss. It's, it's not that critical. No relationships, that's actually good. The 
acid crop grows unchecked. All right, and avoid the hoarder. Pretty easy. If we go for the boss, we would have to avoid the hero shrine. I'm not. Yeah, I would rather do the hero shrine. Oh, shambler altar. No, 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 no. Uh, that would that would wreck wreck us. Yeah, no. So I can't can't go to the hoarder. So we have to go to the middle. That could be a hero shrine. Our once familiar kingdom. Yes. Stranger to itself. Excellent. Cool, why not? Beta black to set up. And barbaric yop to um, taunt. I don't even really think we need that. Just uh, a little damage. Problem is our leper is kind of slow. Ten to twenty-six damage. My God. Oh, no, Barbaric Yop. He's gonna get all the taunts going. This was always the plan. Bloodthirsty. That's okay. Alright, that one's dead. Threats await those who dare. All right, let's finish the occultist's story. I am shrouded by an endless night where they prowl and whisper all names. Chapter 5 An Eternal Flame Emerging from his trance, he met the charred, steaming corpses of his acolytes with a shudder. He could sense the eldritch entity stalking the edges of his consciousness, probing for weaknesses. He had become a beacon, a conduit to unknown regions and would be assailed by those blasphemous forces all the rest of his days. Also, I just realized I completely forgot to do the cosmetics. Ah, oh, I'm never going to remember to do the cosmetics. Amnesis requires two unchecked power. AOE bleed seems strong with the right build. Chaotic offering. This is the critical skill. Uh, you lose some hit points and you suffer a random side effect, but you gain unchecked power for three turns. And this is how you set up big, big attacks. So it's time to set things up. Let's do Burning Stars, Chaotic Offering, Abyssal Artillery, Damon's Pull for lots of flexibility. We're just going to use Chaotic Offering and then like cause massive havoc and we can stun potentially, or we just do a Burning Stars gigantic nuke. So many options, you know. Yes. A simple choice. At least it should be. Indeed. Familiar desk, books, wealth, trinkets. Hmm. Those books could be very powerful. 
If it's like uh, the book for every region, like we got last time, is that? I almost feel like I need to memorize the names of all of these things. That's pretty powerful. We would increase loathing, but we go fight the creature then and the resisting counter because I'm feeling like I don't really need to fight the boss. Much rather just uh, continue the story. Creature Den. Creature Den's good. In many ways, it's kind of better than the layer boss, even. Uh, then Resistance Encounter. We can get that loathing down. And then a Oblivion's Rampart. Seems pretty good to me. Supplies are just guaranteed to be good, but... Let's, um... I'm gonna gamble on the books here. If I were fighting the layer boss, I think I would go for the supplies, hope for some good combat items, but since I'm not doing that, I don't really need the combat items. A place of research and inquiry. A monument to a once prestigious career. Okay. Books, relics. Nice. Yes, I would rather have that. Fluffball would be quicker to smash it apart. In crisis. No gain oh. is insignificant. Hmm. I guess the chance of getting the all the best books is very random. Well, this was not worth it, but but we couldn't have known. Couldn't have known. Oops. The loathing whispers. Why is why is it so dark? Eh. All right, whose story should we do? I do love the leper. I know Dumbo Squid has been around forever, but Diago Santos, our leper, I love his story so much. Allying the blood-soaked grass circled by hyenas who move as a pack. Leper, chapter one. Shun them not. Despite the protestations of his royal advisors, he would visit with the sick and dying, providing them what comfort he could. Foster the sick. There are three supplicants. And I have a move called Out of My Way uh, to get through these royal advisors. Royal rebuke, I could stun them. That seems pretty good. Oh, this is my favorite move in the entire game. Royal stride. It just, I love that name, but let's open with a royal rebuke. Stun all these useless advisors. Oh, I feel so bad for these supplicants. My kingdom is a... Mine is a kingdom of compassion, indeed. Alright, out of my way. Boorish interjection? What? Oof, stressing me out. That's okay. We're going to embrace... Completely clearing my stress. And another royal rebuke here. I hear you, friend. Mine is a kingdom of compassion. All right. I can only do my favorite move in the entire game. Royal Strut. I just love... I love that name. It's such a good name. Okay, Royal Stride to the front. I'm gonna embrace. It 
It is the sovereign's duty to care for his subjects. Uncloof occlusion. Are they still not our countrymen? Yes. Out of my way, advisors. All right, embrace the disease spreads. Oh no, I contracted leprosy. I must rest. Perhaps the day has taken its toll. The ailing and infirm were far less repulsive to him than the venomous whispers of his scoffing entourage. Those advisors, man. Can't trust them. Okay, I'm gonna equip break because I'm never gonna use purge, but chop is just so much better with this uh, Tempest Leper. Okay, well, we've already decided I'm not gonna bother with the uh, layer boss, so let's go to the shrine. We will get our loathing up, but we'll, we'll get it cleared out before the regen's over. Is your coat prepared for the upcoming obstruction? I'd much rather uh, keep continuing the stories. Dumbo Squid stress is like insane. Okay, made up black here. A barbaric yop to set up the taunts. Let's do a chaotic offering. Let's get ready for the unchecked power nonsense. Can't actually chop. Sure. Better inspiring to just in case we get hit with a big stress attack. That's fine. Okay, now for the power. This artillery. Oh, I have to upgrade it for the stuns. I thought um. I completely forgot that you have to upgrade it. All right, well, that's less ideal. Bit of four. Iron Swan toe to toe. All right, that one. Alright, Razor's wit. We're, we're doing stuff. Min damage burning stars. That is unfortunate. End of home doing work. A trifling matter. And get the taunt set up. Although, two to four. Let's just go for the kill here. Don't need taunts. Oh, let's do a battle ballad. So I can do a abyssal. Nice. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Gotta upgrade some of those skills. Creature den could be rough. They ate the rotten flesh of their animals. Then, still hungry, they turned upon themselves. Find a reflection. Let's continue the leper story. A hollow changing echo throughout the palace. Chapter 2 
infection. Early signs could be ignored or concealed, but soon the reality was inescapable, whether by some affliction of lineage or by direct transmission. Symptoms of incurable disease began to openly manifest themselves. Racked with pain, he summoned doctors and aides from the farthest reaches of his lands, all of whom concluded the worst. The king was dying. Oh no, he looks pretty alive. Oh my god, revenge. Do we go all ying? The loathing festers. Self, too vulnerable. Turn start, strength, plus three. We go all in, right? It's actually probably a horrific idea in this upcoming region. I mean, the creature den. Ahead, a bestial refuge littered with bones and less identifiable remains. Okay, flame is getting super low, and these creature dens, um, I'm a little worried about being shuffled, but, yeah, I'm gonna go for break. There are enemies that have block. I have all my combat items equipped. Alright. Do this. No creature in this place is truly mundane. That's right. Yep, a lot of these carry-on crawlers. Let's uh, set up a fade of black. Gonna need taunts for sure. Good abyssal. Quite like that. Ooh, lots of combo. The slow suffering begins. Yes, this seems pretty good. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Let's combo everything up. Am I actually going to use a Damon's Bow to clear that corpse? Don't need them eating. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Go to toe. More taunts. All right. 10 to 26. 39 crit. And do not relent. Wow. Okay, burning stars. We'll get rid of that thing. A righteous action. Uh, slice off. The oozes. Eh, this is not the worst disease. We can work with that. So I'm gonna again delay things a little. Set up for next turn. Zero damage crit. Love to see it. Hmm. I'm gonna do a chaotic offering. I, I just want to keep setting up. Ugh, don't like that dazed. Again. Let's get ready. The spider spawns, not great. Barbaric Yop. Okay. Battle Ballad, not gonna be necessary. A master stroke. Nice. Razor's Wit hit. Stumbling mm, and stupefying. Stun. 
Don't like that. Probably gonna have the adrenaline rush. Good resist, good resist. Yeah. Burning Star does not ignore crit, so... Alright, one down. Or Abyssal. This is going pretty, pretty good. The slow suffering begins. Iron Swan, 50% chance for a kill. I'll take that. A petty hindrance. And it stopped an attack. All right. Big miss on the chop. That's okay. Conflict. Burning stars will just delete that thing. So let's fade a black here in the front. Really? Alright, at least the spider missed. One to two. Mistimed. Nope. Misdirected. There's a lot of blight damage. Ten percent crit. Yeah, it seems best. Easily dispatched. Creature dens are pretty rough, we but we got it. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Discounted trinkets and a mastery point. Eh, I'll take it. I'm slightly worried about this low light, but I think we'll be all right. This, this team is pretty tanky. As long as we get to the um, Oblivion's Rampart, get our uh, light back. Uh, definitely want to fight. Dumbo Squid. Ah, Bloodshed. My Muse. Yes. Ooh, this is a pretty nasty comp. That shuffle was fine. Everything super blight resistant. Fade of black on this uh, goat. Whatever it is. Toe to toe wouldn't kill. Offering set up for next turn. I love that stealth 10 to 26. Oh, just one shot. One shot these plague eaters. I love it. There's wit, bear yop, toe to toe, wicked hack. Sure, we'll toe to toe or a taunt. Burning stars, that's pretty good. Oh, as long as I taunt it, I don't think they can eat the corpses. That's nice. Another 39 damage crit, of course. Why would we crit for anything less than that? have their solutions even the big ones pretty good all right plus five percent crit minus 15 percent healing received from skills that seems like it would be decent on dumbo's grid 
Very excited about getting some of these uh, stain trinkets active. Frenzied enemies, plus 25% damage. Collaboration Oops. confers advantage. Not great. That one's gonna get the go. Let's get the widow. Hold this uh, urchin up. I really don't hate that. Get a toe to toe taunt going. Thirteen damage, crit, no disease at least. Didn't have the taunt up. That was the problem. We're gonna need to heal that. Although there are many different ways for me to heal that. Gotta still clear this trash. Pull you and but I really really want to get that heal going so I'm gonna clear the corpse like this get a solemnity heal going okay the toe to toe taunt And I want to see if I can sneaking an extra heal. No. Ah. Oh, this backfired potentially. Nope. Still resisted. Did I solemnity again? No. Okay. I'm gonna go into the cultist fight a little low on hit points. Kind of concerning. Scavenge what you can, and be off once more. Two neutralizing powders. That's not gonna do anything. All right, um, but no reason not to equip it. Probably gonna burn some of our consumables here. I think this is fine. we do a slice off on this herald these things are very dangerous we pull it up so i kind of want to icker bomb the altar very yop for the taunts then we are going to spore grenade all of them? Sure. 
Ooh, it resisted the pull, but that's okay. It's gonna die next turn. Good sport grenade. Chop, not gonna do too much. Break. Seems pretty good. Get rid of those tokens. I do... Okay, Clarion Call. That's a stress move. I'm okay with that. Fade up. Oh, hmm, annoying. Fine. Fade of black. Here, get rid of the taunt. Spore grenade did work for sure. Let's um, let's pull this altar to the front. Messed them up a little bit. This one, if it does the rush judgment, yourself. it's really not so bad. Wow, I actually healed from that crit. How incredible is that? Okay. 24 damage combo. Seems pretty good. We can hack. Nope. We're just going to keep toe to toeing. Should have hit and cleared the token, but I think it's fine. Unchecked power. Let's delete that altar. I hate those things. I know this one's gonna get off of Death Store, but honestly, not too worried. More barbaric yop nonsense. way to attack the front. One damage we can hack. Sure, why not? Do you stress? Nice. Think on it. You, you ain't dead yet. Wasn't so bad. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Got the uh, stun resist dark impulse. The loathing abates. Don't really have any good stun resist, but we we could equip it just to proc an effect, you know. Oh, it's oh, snap judgment, man. See, oh, this item. It's our extra action or one damage. I mean, maybe we should actually give it on Dumbo Grid. These are all like good. When moving, add one positive token. And when move by ally skill, plus one positive token. Extra action or one damage. Ah, extra action is really good. Also really good on the leper. Might be the way to go. Okay, uh, strange sapper. Oh, well, let's give it to, uh... Our cultus. Oh, all right, good result. Did a lot of story in this region, which I like. Rest now for a time. Swine Slayer, Shroud Scrounger, Cosmic Slayer. This is all great. Fragile. No, 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 no. Fluffball, buddy. Oh, no. On our tank? Our tank is fragile? That's 
horrific. We gotta get rid of that. The like the highest priority. Away. Plan accordingly. The provisioner. Everything's cheap here. Okay, that's good. Goodbye, all these songbooks of Amorous Ballads. Better scrounger. What are our choices? The provinces and cantrebs of our land. Crumbling and undone. Might as well do the sluicing this episode. Okay. This is this is a time to spend our uh, money. Let's think. Meditative totem. Yes, okay. It didn't work. You know, they're so cheap. Practice. Improve. Keep doing it. Hydrophobic, not what I wanted to get rid of. That's okay. You got, you got plenty Spend more. What you can. Um, let's actually meaning. buy two songbooks if of Touching Dirty. Indeed, it ever did. Put that stress up before we. Uh, before we use the meditative totem. A bit of comfort. On the yes. Road to okay. Got rid of that fragile. Still have a lot of money. Uh, Warhorn is good at the correct moment. Uh, I kind of just want to buy more songbooks. Oh, are you melophobic? Okay, so you, you can't benefit from that. But still did very well. I have a kleptomaniac, so the playing cards won't be optimal. Goodbye, songbooks of amorous ballads. Chaw. Oh. Fluffball and. Yes, that seems good. Ooh, we could buy a whiskey barrel. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Very nice whiskey barrel. Okay, Patron Dumble Squid. Not doing well. We can fix that. Just a regular whiskey flask. Two Melophobics. Ooh. Okay. Kleptomaniac, but that's fine. Buy some playing cards. Got all these max relationships already. So we just need to work on our cultist, Pachal, and our jester, Dumbo Squid. They can't use the Songbook of Amorous Ballads, but... I could buy four whiskey flasks and just force feed them whiskey. And then a poetry. Seems pretty good to me. I'll buy the Warhorn for later. Do I have any uh, hero goals? I get a mix studies. Oh, I keep forgetting to use Slice Off. Should be able to try to remember to do that in one of these upcoming fights. Buy some glimmers. Pretty useful. Warhorn. Four of these is 16. Plus the poetry. I'm gonna afford it. And we'll still have food. And again, I'm gonna skimp on the food. Just gonna feed a fluff ball. I'm feeling pretty strong. We can just buy the cheapest food for fluff ball. Oh, wow, we can just use the sale bread. Dartboard, but that's not a guarantee. Alright, I'm gonna force feed them whiskey. And then a poetry. Excellent. Everybody's at least positive, so. We can't possibly have a negative relationship. 
Good enough. Alright, trinkets are half price, but I don't really care about any of these trinkets. Stew pot's interesting. It's a good item, but... I don't know that I need it. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. Save our baubles for something more valuable. I, maybe I just buy out the glimmers? Is there anything here? Like, restorative herbs are really good in a final battle. How's our combat item situation looking? Warhorn. Like, putting it on Fluffball would be good, but Fluffball should be able to tank very effectively regardless. Uh, let's do the mastery points because I need to think about the other things. All right, uh, Chaotic Offering, when this is upgraded, there's less cooldown and it hurts less. Burning Sars upgrade is just good, but so is Abyssal Artillery upgrade. I think we have to do that for the stun chance. Weird Reconstruction or some healing nonsense. I mean, I'm actually legitimately going to use Barbaric Yop like a lot. Adrenaline Rush. Anything on our Leper, that's real good. Solemnity is always a good upgrade. So is Reflection. What else do I use a lot? Like Razor's Wit, I use a lot. I know, I know I have the Slice Off Hero Go. I mean, I'm gonna use this, so might as well. And then Barbaric Yop and Adrenaline Rush seems good. The damage should still be pretty solid. Buy out the glimmers. Sure. And then buy two restorative herbs for the final boss. A good deal. I can still afford something somehow. It's incredible. Don't really need a clarifying poultice or anything. Dartboard? We can get some relationship buffs going. Who actually needs it? Okay. Fluffball, Thiago Santos, and Arcultus. Arcultus and Dumbo Squid. Yeah, we, we really don't need that much. I'd rather, like, buy, like, whiskey and stuff. I'll ah, just buy the dark board. Uh, I'm not gonna use it right now because I don't want to risk dropping a pip. 
Uh, so, all right. That's a good end. Let's go to the sluice and I'll be waiting this video. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Battle Bellad, Solemnity. Tried and tested. Razor's Wit, to toe counted. to toe. This is sick. That's really, really sick. Well, burning stars and raucous rubbery. Good stuff. The Razor's Wit, toe to toe, like upgrade is crazy strong. Tread carefully and quickly. This. Is swine country. Go to the unknown with a candle. Creature then. Excellent. Definitely fighting this. Don't need rockets revelry. Seems like a good list of skills. Ooh, fluff ball. Um, I want to maximize our relationships. So, Pachal, uh, our occultist, are there. What's Thiago Santos' relationship like? With Thiago Santos can buff relationship with fluff ball. Uh, so I think I'm going to use Fluffball, apply the vulnerable token, uh, and then buff the relationship there. Okay, close, closer information. These quarters are tight. Arhelion. Yes, that also ups two affinities. Seems like a perfect battle for a slice off. Use it three times. Nice. Early results are encouraging. Barbaric Yop. Um No, oh, I like the toe to toe here. Fetch is a shuffle, but ooh! I thought the taunt would prevent it from eating, but clearly not. That's fine. I want to gamble. Cooperation is the key. There's wit. I have the nine. Damon's pull. Let's get rid of the corpses. One less obstacle in our Nice. I'm gonna do a break. Get rid of that block plus. The slow suffering All right. begins. All right, he hit me. A toe to toe again. Get those defenses up. Razor's wit. Can't do Razor's wit. Alright, need to set up the chaotic offerings. So, this is going to be another one of the setup turns. Let's do a reflection, get rid of that. Um, the nonsense there. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. A lesson taught All right. is a lesson learned. Spiders. And I get to go again because of my trinket turn start. Wow. This chop will get rid of two tokens. I'll take that. All marks of the unprepared. Barbaric Yop to get rid of some nonsense. This should be a kill. But I also like the Abyssal Artillery. Stuns. Do a slice off. Alright, spider is dead. An unavoidable end. 
Or Abyssal? Ah, oh, Strange Sapper backfiring on me there. That's okay. Break. Might eat the corpse, no? Respectful counterattack, I love it. And due to the Hellion path, all the vulnerable tokens just go away from our block. I love this carcass path. It's such a good tanking path. And you can still do damage with bleed out. I haven't like equipped it yet, but emboldened. I will. Another Visso artillery so strong. Wow. Break. Sure. Go to toe taunts. Did I uh, use slice off three times? Yep. Made a black. Get the blind going. Oh, I thought that might kill, but I wanted to clear the corpse. Go again. They falter. So press your advance. Really? Okay. Collaboration confers advantage. Squad is starting to feel very strong now. In crisis, no mastery points. Significant. Discounted combat and in items again. The loathing. A base. Although I won't have any money to afford anything, but that's all right. Ah, not hitting any of the debris here. Milk soak linens. That's really good. Incendiary cocktail. Swine cash. and ancient waterways. The swine proliferate on scene. And unchecked. Good stuff. Okay. Burn cell. I'm not going to be All super useful here, is but. The flickering torch you bear. Trinkets. Plus 25% debuff piercing. Gain when hit, remove disease 5%. If flame greater than 75, minus 2 speed. Uh, Dumbo Squid applies Fade of Black debuffs all the time. Although, the uh, Abyssal Artillery stun seems. Does stun check debuff or stun? It's gotta check stun, right? Yeah, okay. So, Blind should check uh, debuff. That's pretty good. Good stuff. Also, got a Fetter Almanac. Let's see if this Alembic and Retort is actually gonna do anything this run. Another loading. I don't like that. Do not like that. Please give us a fight to clear some of this loading. Good. No, no, no. We're fighting. Bluff ball. Yago, uh, Dumbo Squid. You know what? Dumbo Squid. Your relationship with Yago Santos could go a little lower. I'm okay with that. I really think we need a glimmer. Lysaw, fade of black. Oh, so fade of black. An and swan to clear some tokens in the back. Let's pull this thing forward. Oh, it resisted. Don't like that. Neutralizing powders. Nah, eh, don't need it. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Maybe 
use wit. Set things up again. Good dodge. Uh, barbaric yop. Toe to taunt. This is a stun if I hit. But it's got 40% stun resist. Actually gonna chaotic offering here. Set up for next turn. Do a big chop. And I get to go again. My god! This trinket combo is busted. Burning stars can't target that. You know, I'm actually gonna clear the corpses. Get this pig to the front. There's no reason not to, like, de-stress a little bit here. That little ballad... ...would give a little stress reduction. But, nah, we don't need it. Unchecked power! Yes. Reprieve until the next test is put before you. Distracting dust could be a decent item. Fifteen leagues to the inn. Inventory full. I didn't see that. We lost uh, four relics. Actually, quite unfortunate. Doesn't the ice box, um. Yeah, that actually does something. Book of Creative Insults. That may be useful. I don't want to throw it out. I mean, a lot of this is good. This snap judgment looks better than jealous whispers. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to use all of these uh, unforgettable trinkets. So I'm going to get rid of jealous whisper. Snap judgment can just like proc on Dumbo Squid or Jester. Like, unfortunately, I just don't see being able to use all three. They all seem very good. No choice. The brutish creatures must be confronted. Every bruise, a path to victory, right, Dumbo Squid? Nah, uh, Pachal, yes. Uh, Thiago Santos, rather. As long as I can lift my blade, I am ready. Up the Fade of Black. Or the nine. Fair yeah. Oh, right. With the combo, it stuns. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's get the chaotic offerings going. On to the next. Mm. And vexation. A stun from the gore. I don't like that. Burning stars is good, but so is Abyssal. Nope. Didn't work. This is all fine. 21 damage shot. I just I can't get over how strong this is. 
and the extra actions. I mean, now it's time for an Abyssal to... I want the stun. Beta Black time. My two stress is irrelevant. 39 damage crits. It's just... And I get to go again. Victory supposes strategy. Uh, victory supposes strategy. Is that right? Oh, this piggy is uh, resisting all the death blows. Impressive. 30 damage. Burning stars crit. This team is... This team is pretty professional. Vanished vanity. That might actually be pretty good. The loathing yeah. Abates. All right, the loathing's uh, going down. We're at the end. Only got oh two mastery points from that actually, because we have the uh, loot from the creature then. That was worth it. Rest now for a time. Last gasp. Fisher folk fearing hydrophobic. A lot of those aren't really that bad. Oh, and EO Gohal. Now we have. Gazillion mastery points, fantastic. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. Whoa, what is this? Inevitable end. Break skills. Can I gain block for two rounds? That's pretty good. Gain when hit is speed less than two. Remove vulnerable, remove weak. Minus two death blow resist per round. I mean. Not necessarily a problem. Tango is good too. But we have a Fetter Almanac. I like the Fetter. And I'm feeling pretty good about fighting the Harvest Child now. We're pretty strong. Ah, a lot of consumables. Spend what you can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. Meditative totem. Oh, I don't know if I actually have anything I want to remove now. Hydrophobic. Don't care about that. Bad digestion, but we have so much food. I don't even feel like I need to remove anything, you know. And this team is feeling very strong. I actually kind of want like a little more inventory space. Learn what can be taught, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. Fisher's storage trunk, but it's a bit of a luxury. If we kill the Harvest Child, there's a chance the trophy will just give us infinite inventory space. Seems better. All right. Well, I will figure all of this out in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Until next time.